I've always struggled struggled with weight, um, and I my weight has fluctuated on and off forever. Um, but I remember the heaviest I've ever got. Um, it was before you and I met. I was uh, over 330 pounds. I was 333 mm. pounds. That was the highest I've ever seen the scale. Um, but I did your typical bodybuilding, eating six meals a day, chicken breast, broccoli, brown rice, and, you know, lo- lose all the weight and then gain it all back. You know, I'd gain it all back. But um, when the merge happened, when you and I met each other, I was just about 300 pounds, um, got back up to 300 pounds and uh, jumped on. Weight Watchers lost lost a pr- pretty good amount of weight. Uh, I think I got down to two thirty hmm. or something like that. But slowly, I seen because it happened has happened so many times. I seen seen the weight going back up. I got back up to about two sixty, and then that's when I, okay. you know, so that was like two thousand and eighteen. Right, I seen the I seen the scale at three oh two, and, and I was you're like, like mm. yikes. Yeah. And so when and when was that? How many years ago? Or was that recently? 2018. Okay, so 2018, you you were like, all right, we got to make some changes. Yeah, well, the end of 2018, I'm sorry, it was 2019, like January 2019, like literally, or it could have been, you know, New Year's Eve or something like that. You know, mm. I had my New Year's resolution. You and know, you're gotta like, gotta lose make weight. This yeah. So you found a diet that you've been very vocal about. Okay? Yes. yes. Tell me about it. Tell me how'd you find it? When'd you get into it? And we're gonna we're gonna jump in because I have questions, I have doubts, sure. I have just a lot of questions. So tell me about the diet. What what do you got going on? Like I said, I I always struggled with my weight going up up and down, up and down, up and down. Well, <clears throat> I uh, was listening to Jordan Peterson, mm-hmm. um, who was somebody I followed for years. If you guys don't know him, he's a Canadian clinical psychologist, um, who. You know, I knew this guy wasn't a kook. You know, he's brilliant. And he made some waves recently with some, you know, stuff that is going against, you know, uh, it's going kind of countercultural. Yeah. You know, and uh, so he's gained some traction and got popular. That's how I came up, you know, come to follow him or whatever. And uh, he was talking about his daughter, Michaela Peterson. And uh, Michaela Peterson had rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, the doctors said, you know, nothing at a very young age, you know, um, I'm not sure like how young they, you know, they said that she, that they couldn't help her anymore, but basically that we can manage the pain. Um, she had a, an ankle replacement when she was 15 and then like a hip replacement when she was 17. Um, but she didn't accept that answer from the doctor. So this is all coming from Jordan, um. And she didn't accept that answer, and then she uh, did a process of elimination diet. Okay. Um, so she really liked candy. Um, so she started noticing when she dropped off certain candies that her body wouldn't feel as inflamed. She wouldn't feel it, as much pain, but she was still feeling some pain. Um, then she, um, you know, over the course of a couple years, she switched to just greens. Got all the way down. I mean, try you know doing all these things. And then got down to just greens and meats. And uh, she was doing really well, but still feeling a little bit inflamed. And uh, then all of a sudden, she cut the greens out. And uh, so now she's just carnivore diet. And then she would add something back, you know, maybe a salad. The inflammation came back and uh, the pain. So she knew right then that her body responds best on the carnivore diet, um, Right now, she's just doing beef, salt, and water, which is called the lion diet. Um, so, you know, carnivore, you can have eggs and, and raw dairy and things okay. like that. But she's just doing the lion diet, beef, salt, and water. And uh, her body resp- – she's off all medications. The doctor said she'd never have kids. She's got kids. Um, I mean, she healed herself from the carnivore diet or the lion diet. And that was something where I was like, like I said, Jordan Peterson, I was like, this guy's not a kook, man. This guy, you know, it's not like he's sitting there lying to everybody. Right. And it's, uh, it was, and it was wild to me that like, even if it was just like, like we talked yesterday, even if that was just one person, like that should be like news, like all over, you know, like this person healed themselves without medicine, got rid of all the medicine, um, from, from eating. So that's anyways, that's what started me on. 
the carnivore diet and I found like this whole, I had no idea like this, like realm existed, man. I mean, it's like, you know, there's, I follow. There's a society. There's a yeah. community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a large community. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that clip. If you did enjoy that clip, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. It really helps the show out a lot. It just tells YouTube, hey, this is a show that people want to watch. So I'd appreciate it if you did that for me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next clip.